180. Brendan Dolan. First leg is and Brendan Yorko to throw Kamula, first. Then. Game on. Dolan to throw first. Just not to compose himself. And get stuck into that triple 20. Well, that's not a bad first start for him. As evidenced by the second. And the third. Forty. Yeah, I wouldn't mind betting that this one probably going to go all the way. Five all. The last game. I mean, what a last leg that was from Kim Hybrex. 29. The three darts missed the 18 and 9s for Peter Wright. Absolutely crucial to the game. My, he lost it, but Hybrex under 12 darts in that last leg. But these two players... Well, capable of that sort of standard of darts as Brendan Dolan has proved two one forties right off the bat. Yeah, really good stuff. And that Michael Van Gogh in versus Hybrex, the first semi final. The semi finals will follow hot on the heel to the quarter finals. Yoko Kamula comes to the party with a one forty. Could be an absolutely electrifying night of darts. Oh, he is so far, and look at these, Brendan Dolan. Talk about coming in hot. Ton 40, ton 40, in the treble again, he's moving down. 98. Well, he's got a three data when he comes back, but he won't... Won't have to go for the bullseye because it doesn't matter what Kamula hits, he can't leave a shot. Normally the player would go for the 19s on this, but you know what? When you just need to put points on the board and leave a double, I used to go for the treble 20, but he's going for the treble 19. That leaves 104. Well, I always say when he set, it, he set it up absolutely perfectly, so. That's irrelevant, but I always say, why go the bullseye route if you're not going to go for it? Phil Taylor will go the bullseye route and then hit a big 18 or a big 10. But he set it up perfectly. 12 darts thrown, 32 left for Brendan Dolan. 65. Brendan Yorko Kamula nowhere near. Brendan Dolan looking for a 13 darter. A very efficient way to start the match for him. Well, raise your eyebrows there, Brendan. <laughs> he, <on> the first <laughs> he did as well, didn't he? Yeah. But he hit it with the third dart. Like yeah, that was quite first. a funny situation. He's a funny man, Brendan Dolan. And, you know, he's thrown that dart and his eyebrows have come up to, just to go, well, where did that go? Oh, his eyebrows going out and down, his tongue popping in and out. Brendan Dolan, he's always interesting to watch on the hockey. 60. Yarko, a little bit more minimalist. Well, if you're wondering what those three silver things are, just to the left of well, the right as we look at it, canisters, they're our cameras. And I've got to be honest and own up to this, I didn't know what they were and we were using them. <laughs> <laughs> I did have to ask. That's a fantastic bit of bespoke kit. Been knocked up in someone's garage. 100. There they are, as you can see them. They're our cameras we're using. Yeah, beaming the action here in Eindhoven. Across the world, free and live. On the PDC YouTube channel as Brendan Dolan whacks in a 180. And Yarko Kamulu, it's early in the game, but he's coming under pressure already from Brendan Dolan. 60. to say that Kamula in his win over Justin Pipe he got ahead early and held off a fight back from Pipe 140 against Nicholson he just streaked away and James Wade was neck and neck pretty much towards the end when Kamula managed to get over the line if Brendan Dolan can get ahead of him here, get two or three legs ahead. 85. It's going to put him in a Brendan position that he's not been in this weekend. 
with some real pressure on him that may throw him off his stride and not let him play the kind of darts that we've seen from him in the past couple of days. Eighty-nine. Well, there you have it. He goes the, the bullseye route and, and then doesn't use it. But he's, in my opinion, done exactly the right thing. You don't want to be too flash. You just want to get this leg over and done with. And you know the scoring power of Brendan Dolan up to hundred and ten average at the moment. That's Kamula. Fires in a one eighty. And when we talk about put your opponent under pressure on his double, absolutely perfect from Kamula. Game shot on the second Absolutely leg. no bother Brendan for Brendan Dolan. Dolan, though. But still here and murmur around Brendan the hall from that 180. Game on. Yeah, a couple of first-class legs from Dolan. Just under 108 average. Seems to be really up for this. 55. Just the 55 from Brendan Dolan. Winner of this one will face either Jamie Caven or Simon Whitlock in the second semi final. 41. Oh, disappointing from Yarko Kamula. Yeah, especially after he hit that 180 to set it up, you know, and then, well, we, we've nicknamed it the wasted 180, haven't we? And it's exactly what it is. But certainly, Brendan's 180 weren't wasted. And if he hits another one here. That's unlucky, just caught the deflection. Yeah, that is unlucky for Brendan Dolan, but a couple of big troubles in there. Doing some serious damage. Narco Kamula needs a couple just to keep pace with them, and he's not going to get them. 100. Gets one in there. I met Brendan first time many years ago in a little town called Irvingstown, Northern Ireland. Used to have a tournament over there at Mayans Hotel. 100. Got to know all the Irish fellas over there. It, uh, it's been a good friendship ever since. 135. Yarko's clawed his way back into this leg. But Brendan Dolan still with the advantage. And if he can force that home. 58. Well, that is disappointing. And Yarko maybe can just steal a march if he were to break here. The thrown to level the match at two apiece. All those blinding first couple of legs from Brendan Dolan. Ninety-six. Mean a great deal. Brendan Yuqua, 167. Well, I thought that Kamula may have gone back up to the 20s to leave the 130. It's a lot easier to take the 130 and the 129. But Brendan Dolan now got a chance to set this up for a 3-0. Needs the treble. Hits the treble. That's a great last dart. Yuqua, he does ask the question now. Kamula's got to go for those 19s. 19 and the treble 20 bullseye, but if it's the treble 19, that leaves him 72. Several ways, looks like he's going treble 12. Yep, now the big 20 just to set it up. So Brendan Dolan. 74. Yeah, Yarko Kamula missing the big number, and well, it shouldn't really. In fact, it, well, it's going to cost him a dart. If he comes back to the board, and Brendan Dolan. It's just hit 51 to leave double eight. One dart in his hand for a 3-0 lead. Game and the and there leg. it is. Brendan Nolan. Snuck it in there. Fourth leg is Yarko. Brendan Dolan first. takes a 3-0 lead. And this is uncharted territory for Yarko Kamula. He's not trailed. Certainly by this distance. Here in Eindhoven this weekend. Has he got enough to come back at the Northern Irishman? <laughs> Dolan's eyebrows going again in the background there. <laughs> He's happy with the situation, it's fair to say. Yeah, he certainly is. Over the 100 average. Three, le three level 15s for those uh, three legs from Dolan, which is uh, brilliant darts. Not done anything wrong. Giving himself chances, taking the chances. A real tidy performance. And he's in there again. Second 180 of the match. 
City. And Brendan Dolan. Said it a number of times, Rod. Doesn't get the credit for the darts he's playing because he isn't up there jumping around and slamming them in, bang, bang, bang. But if you throw 100 average, you're going to worry anybody. And if he can reproduce this this evening 23. in the semi-finals, assuming he gets there, or indeed the final, whoever he's playing is going to have a real game on their hands. He's averaging 103 at the minute. Look to his left there off through through that one. I think you did throw it, Brendan. I don't think anybody has come on there and threw that one, but followed it up with another treble. So six darts thrown, only once 196. He, what he's doing is, and you can see the averages there, his first nine dart average is exceptional. And his overall average is exceptional. 100. Um, sometimes if you're scoring at the back end, you're not frightening your opponent a lot. But when you're scoring that heavy at the front end, you're putting your opponent under pressure from those first three darts, which makes an awful lot of difference. Yeah, going up to the hockey when you're 250 points behind and thinking, I need to get two big 100. troubles here, makes it a little bit harder. Yeah, the psychology of the game is very important. Sometimes you can have a scruffy score in 95, 96. 100. You don't frighten your opponent. But if Revenue your opponent looks at your, your scorecard, you've got four straight tons up there. It seems to hurt them a lot more. But certainly, the way Brendan Dolan's been playing is 140s and 180s. And he's not going to give himself a shot 56. at double here, but he'll set it up absolutely perfectly for double top. And Yoko Kamula hasn't got an out here. So Brendan Dolan is looking at a potential 4 0 lead. 100. Brendan, you require 40. Well, I think this is his first dart at double top. The others have been down the 16s and 8s. And that was thrown like a man who'd forgotten what it was like to hit it. Working his way down. And slowly better acquainted no with score. double top. And. Oh. Yarko Yurkwa, 78. Yarko now with a chance. He's only going to get one dart, a double top. Staying where he is, doesn't think the flight's a problem. Give and it isn't. He even nods Yarko it. Tomula. Nods it in there. Fifth leg is Brennan to throw well, first. I think that's about the he only not. emotion you're going to get from Yarko is that little nod of agreement. So that was a brilliant three darts right under the caution. Brendan Dolan. It'd be interesting to see what happens now if that has affected the scoring power of Brendan. 100. Well, we did say, does Yarko have what it takes to come back from being three down? He's got one leg on the board. It was just a hold of throw. 60. Unless Brendan starts falling apart, Yarko is going to have to up his game to really threaten to break him. And here comes Dolan now, a ton to start. Just moving around to open up the treble bed if he can find it. Don't think he has with the second dart, but he certainly has with the third. Good adjustment for the man from Bell Coo in Northern Ireland. Certainly, Kamula, he's got her up his scoring. Because if Dolan keeps this scoring up, you know, he may miss doubles on the odd leg. But Kamula, the only chances he's going to get are those 78s. And he ain't going to keep taking them out. So, Dolan with really the upper hand. And again, he's moving over to the right to get the little bit on the right-hand side. 100. Fantastic work from Brendan Dolan. A third 180 of the match for him. Dolan absolutely 96. pounding the treble 20. 140. Now, he'll settle for just a nice casual straight ton. Surely he hit the treble after that one. Well, he's going to have to move to the right now, which he has done. He says, come on, don't miss the big number. 60. Not the end of the world, just a bare 60 there. He's looking at another potential. Sub-15 dart leg. Mm. 
We're still going to get six starts from this 100. 80. Brandon, you require 80. Kamuna had hit the treble there. Left him the 162, which is the bogey number. So, Brendan. Know you know this one's going to go up there near double top. It won't go near the treble. Plenty of room to the right. He's already missed three darts at it. 60. That's four darts. It'd be interesting to see if Brendan Dolan gets a chance in the rest of the legs where he'll opt for those 16s. Yeah, it's not been his friend double top so far. Four missed darts at it. Fifty-five. Brendan, you require twenty. So Brendan Dolan for a four-one lead. Oh, he's to go up to double five. He didn't like double top, and this one's next door. It's not a bad little marker for him though. Fifteen. Wow. Brendan Dolan. Yako, you require one hundred and forty-seven. Struggling a little bit on the doubles now. Just needs to put some pressure on, which is exactly what he's going to do. He might even take it out. He's at treble 17. Makes this 95. number five of Brendan Dolan's five. a total different aspect. Big one. And this he doesn't want to let this leg go as well, so it'll be two legs on the trot. Really puts Kamula back in it. And that's a bit of a block of dart. And again, Dolan, six darts in this leg to go 4-1 up. And he's let Kamula in. Well, he took the 78 out in the previous leg to snatch the leg. He's going to get two darts and a double. And Brendan Dolan was absolutely flying in the early stages of this. But his progress has been halted. By missing a load of doubles, and that is a 32. shocking dart from Yarko Kamula. Brendan, you require two. It must have just fell off his finger. You know, the point must have just clipped off his finger just as he was releasing. But he's got to aim for the top wire. Don't bust it with the first one. That's OK with the first dart. You're in play. Give shot on the fifth leg. There you have it. Brendan Nolan. Brendan Nolan. That big Irish big smile of his as he finally hits the double one to go 4-1 up. On. And that is a big sigh of relief for Brendan. He just shrugs his shoulders. It's another day at the office for Brendan. Kamula straight in to that treble 20 bed. 140. And 40, and you'd have to say, on his own throw, it's... It's probably a must-win leg, this, for Kamula. If he were to go 5-1 down and Dolan throw in next, I mean, it would take something monumental to turn it round. 100. A ton from Dolan. Well, do you all know what it's like? I mean, as the weekend's gone on, the hall has got fuller and fuller. It's absolutely packed for tonight, but the practice room, you walk through it this afternoon. 140. It's getting a little bit sparser. You know, only eight players left. They're all eyeing each other from a, across the room as they're practising. They'll have seen how well they're throwing on the practice boards ahead of the you know, big quarterfinals and the semi-finals. Michael Van Gerwen and Kim Hybrex will probably be in there now having a chuck. And well, Phil Taylor always goes and practices with the, the person he's just about to play. You know, and uh, he said, oh, I just like having a bit of fun and what have 60. you. But you know, you do your eye up what your opponent's doing. A lot of people say, I won't look at them practising, because on the practice board doesn't mean a thing, but it kind of does, do you know what I mean? And sometimes, I know Phil would play shots out with Adrian if he's about to play him. And I used to just prefer to start, you know, you know, get out of the way. It didn't worry me one way or another, but... Yeah, they are eyeing each other up. You know, everyone now is thinking about they can win this tournament. You know, up until this round, you're just getting over game by game. But now every one of these players 97. starts to think about winning the tournament, which is a total different you know, mindset than what it was you know, yesterday and the day before. Many players will tell you, look, I don't look at the draw. I don't see you. I might be playing further down the line. But when it gets to the final evening session, you know exactly who's there. You certainly And you know do. how they're playing. And you know how the results have gone. Because I'm sure when Michael Van Gogh and beat Wes Newton, everybody in that practice room have been told about it. 
Probably by Michael himself as Yarko Kamula looks at 64 and wants double eight to get another leg on the board. And that's not far away, you know. Neither was that. Brandon, Brandon Dolan. 101. 101. And if he were to take this out, it'd be difficult to see a way back for Kamula. 57. 44 he wants. Now the double 16. Oh, the brilliant leg. darts Brandon from Nolan. Brendan Dolan. Had two legs where he could hardly Seven hit a double. But then he first. takes out the 101 to go 5-1 on. up. And the key may have been that it was on that double 16, Rod. He was going nowhere near that double top. You're exactly right, Dan. There was no way was he going to. He had the option, but the double top, he just hasn't hit. There are times 100. when you have no option. But when you've got the option, Brendan Dolan especially will always opt for those 16s. Well, we did see Campbell Jackson come back from 5-0 down against Mark Cox. Take it all the way to a deciding leg one. The actual fact that Mark Cox won, but Marco Kamula needs something similar here. If he's going to keep his dream at the Dutch Darts Masters alive, 140. It has to be said that by reaching the quarterfinals here, he has achieved one goal in putting himself in a very, very strong position for qualifying for the World Championships at Alexandra Palace, the Labbrooks World Championships. 60. Yeah, as we talked about, you know, a lot today, they've all got one eye on that World Championships. And Brendan, the way, he, the way he's played, certainly in this match. 91. And no one wants to play him, you know, because you, you, he's a little bit slower, it can ruin the fast player's rhythm. But he's scoring absolutely brilliantly. He's finishing well on double 16 and double 8. 140. Of course, Brendan even more important for Brendan, I would think to have a good run in a major TV tournament after going out early in the Grand Prix, the one where he's, he's done so well the previous couple of years. A final and a, a semi-final. 130. Absolutely superb. When we talk about setting the shot up, well, that is as good as it gets. Force and Kamula into taking out this 1-6-1. He wants the treble 17. Uh, you can see he was disappointed with that. That's a very low dart, but the first one was brilliant. Now, he hasn't 82. hit this double top yet. Four it will top. be interesting to see what happens. Is he a little bit jittery on the double top, or is it just going to go bang? First dart straight in the middle. Oh, he'd be thinking maybe I should have hit a single eight. Okay. No, but he takes double match. top Brendan out. Dolan. And Brendan Dolan, a 6-1 win. He started off like an absolute train. He couldn't maintain that kind of form. But he did enough to get the job done. A 101 checkout, three 180s in there as well. And it's the Northern Irishman, the former Grand Prix finalist, the man they call the history maker, who makes his way into the semi-finals. Wow, no!